Hey guys, got another ransomware video here for you. This one's been requested a fair bit and uh, it's called Cephtad. It's a, a, a boot lock sort of a Trojan, which means once you've installed it, you reboot and you can't log on to the system. It gives you a message saying that your system has been uh, encrypted. And even if you get a live CD, you can't actually see your drive until you change the master boot record uh, back. So what I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to infect it now. It will shut down and then reboot. On the reboot, this is uh, the message that you'll get when you try to boot the system up. It says your PC is blocked. All your hard drives were encrypted and you have to visit this site and then they want you to pay some money. You put your ID number in and then they'll let you have a password. It's a load of nonsense. It doesn't encrypt your drive. It's just another uh, scam where to get money out of you. So I'll show you. These are the passwords you can use. These two types here. Okay, on the screen right now. And then uh, what we'll do here is I'll show you how to remove it if those don't work. So what we're going to do is boot up to our Windows CD. So I'll boot up to that now. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to click on the next button here, like so, and then we want to come down to where it says repair your computer, click on that, and then we want to go next. You'll get this coming up, just close that, cancel that, and then cancel this. Okay, so from here, we want to go into the command prompt. Then I'm going to type D colon and then DIR just to test to see whether that is my Windows directory and it is. I can see it there. Okay, let's clear the screen here. And I'm going to put our boot rec command in. And that's the command we need, boot rec space forward slash fix MBR. And then we can exit that. And then restart the system. Okay, so we're going to restart the system now. And as you can see, we've now got past that boot lock or Trojan there that's blocking us. So we can now get to the desktop and I'd run some scans there with malware bytes, also do an online scan and stuff like that just to make sure the system's fully clean, okay? And that's pretty much it. As you can see we're back to the desktop. The jobs are good. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed these videos, I hope this helped you out. Thanks a lot for watching guys, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support and also rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making some more videos in the future. So I'll see you later, bye for now.